hello guys welcome to this video so um on this video i'm going to show you how to select and clip um a, a certain area of your map okay and so as you can see this is a whole data set okay the, these are all roads on the continent so many roads anyways but then your work area or your place of interest is just a certain area let's say it, it could just be one of these districts okay so it doesn't mean your whole processing you should be processing the whole thing you don't have to process the whole thing in order to get the results you need you can pick out a certain polygon which is your work area and work with it okay as you desire all right so in this video i'm going to show you how to be able to select that particular polygon okay how to be able to carve out that particular polygon and then also um um maintain so you see there are a lot of rules even outside this Ghana map so you'll be able to cut out a certain polygon and maintain all the roads passing through it all the rivers passing through it all the towns passing through or all the towns located on it okay so basically you are trying to make um reduce your work from a big chunk of data to a very small piece all right so and um, before we move forward if you have not subscribed to my channel i want to encourage you to do so okay programmatics subscribe to my channel um we we, we will be going on with this GIS videos okay this is just on QGIS more will come on remote sensing edas and other other software regarding remote sensing so if you're a mapping enthusiast or if you are a GIS and remote sensing enthusiast I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel as I think you'll find it useful all right so let's go on to select and clip our data all right so in order to select or clip and clip your data there are ways in which you can do it okay so first let's start by selecting a particular area let's say we will select this region here um, what's this region kasana kasana nankani okay so we will select kasana nankani here so in order to select what you can do is you can just come here and type select okay so if you type select you get the tools you need or you can just go ahead um what is it this processing and open the toolbox okay so in this toolbox you can have all these features i i used that i used it some time ago so you can have these features now what you are looking for is to select okay so you have it you also probably be like this okay so we're looking for this vector selection tool and then the vector selection tool you are coming to select by expression okay you could select by attribute attribute as the the attributes the the thing the properties each um, polygon has for instance each polygon has an area or a perimeter but we just choose select by expression it's easier that way all right so i click select by expression what am i selecting i'm trying to select a district okay one of those polygons that's this one okay so you usually select a, a polygon okay usually it's, it's easier to select a polygon if you want if you know you are coming to make a clip use a clip function then select a polygon so that you can overlay the rest on the polygon all right so i'm selecting the polygon and i'm going to give it an expression okay so remember we said we are going to select kasana nankani so i'm coming to fields and values and the fields and values i will look for i am um, caption equals to this basic sql okay so kasana oh kasana okay like this kasana nankani when you double click it to select kasana nankani so this is your expression if you find caption equals to kasana nankani and select it for you all right okay so with this you should save it if you have not saved before so um if i mean you should save it otherwise it will just create a temporary file here okay so what you can do is you can save to file and then you say kasana nankani nankani uh selected okay like this all right so kasana nankani selected notes yours might not be shp so you just change it to shp if it's your package you change it to shp we want to work with shape files okay these are other data formats but uh, work with shp for now all right so after you've done that you run the process and then it's done let's see it it has selected kasana nankani and it has given it a yellow color all right so this yellow color let's change the yellow color to let's say brown like this now it's too it's too bad okay uh, let's look for one of those simple fields um like this all right so this one now what it means is you've selected a certain area so you can deactivate the rest of the polygon 
you see and leave only casting and uncanny all right so now what we want to do is um so basically we'll be able to select casting and uncanny let me just give it um a label okay give it a label here um by this option okay so that you give us the name of the place oh sorry so i'll give it a buffer and a mask okay now i'll just reduce the font size it's in case it's too big i'll make it eight this is just to 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 give me a label okay a label of the area all right um a little thing i want to change before we go on so this buffer color should be let's say blue okay make it blue so that it would all right okay so now we've been able to do our selection we've been able to select a certain area out of the whole place so you realize that instead of working with all the polygons you just select one polygon which you are interested in working with so you just select it and then that's it so now let's go further to learn how to do the clipping okay so what the clipping will do is it will take this water body and cut every other water body away from it and leave all the water bodies within it all the roads within it, all the airports within it now anything that is outside it it will not be included so in order to do that like i said you can always select okay you can always just search for if you know the tool to use you can just search for it but if you don't know the tool to use so if we knew the tool to use we're going to use the clip function okay you could have just selected it here but if you're not sure what you can also do is you can come to vector your processing and then clip okay here or you can come here we're done with the selection so you can come here um overlay okay so in the overlay define clip here too so now what do you want to clip i want to clip uh i want to clip reverse to kasnan and kani okay so uh, we are clipping this to this the first one is what you want to add second one is what you are adding to okay so um clip cas um the reverse to kasnan and kani all right let's run it so with this you should save it also but i would i would, I would not save it now because i don't really need them but if you are working on a project which you, you think um the clip to reverse are necessary then you you clip them okay you save them all right and now we have a new clipped feature okay so with this one you should rename this layer to reverse in nankani oh I think I should just copy this one in Nankani because I'll be doing more with it. Okay, so now if you deactivate all the rivers, um, a problem, there a problem. Yes, so if you deactivate all the rivers, you will see just that you realize that it's very dim. So I didn't see that first. Okay, so now you just change X symbology, all right? Just give it a different symbology. Remember the cartographic colors okay so your river should be a blue the blue looks a little big so i'll change it to 0.46 all right like this so we have reverse okay so we have reverse in nankani in the same way we'll do for roads okay so we just come double click on clip we'll clip roads like west roads we'll clip roads to nankani okay then we'll run okay so with this also we can deactivate the other we will deactivate the other roads okay where's i guess and then we'll rename this to roads in nankani okay and with this one the color is not good enough so we'll just change the symbology also so well what we'll do is we'll give it a different color so the roads let's say we give it a red line that's a good and there's an airport okay so there's an airport in nakani what we can also do is um click again let's then click on airport to nakani and run and close all right so there's an airport in nakani it has represented the airport by a dot okay so if you deactivate all the airports you have this dot here um in the same way you can come to the symbology and change the airport to an airport okay and probably reduce the size okay what else do we have that we want to maintain i think that's all the city 
you see the city is not inside the nankani so when you clip the city you would still not find it okay it only clips what cuts through it or what is within it okay so if you deactivate all the airports uh what's this uh, so these are the cities okay so if you you realize that if you clip on it you will not get any cities within nankani so basically this is how to do your selecting and clipping the clipping is only possible if you have a feature on top of another feature okay a feature on top of passing through another feature that's when you can be able to clip otherwise you you just get empty answers all right so in this video i've been able to show you how to select your work area or your place of interest and then also clip from and um, clip other features over it by overlaying them okay so um in the next videos we'll be we'll be working more on these tools okay we'll be looking at how to use these tools the buffer tool the the um intersection tool there are a lot of tools that you would find useful okay if you are an enthusiast in mapping okay mapping with gis or remote sensing or even if you're a coder subscribe to my channel once more and stay tuned for more videos i'll see you next time